Hey Gears here, guys. I'm Nick. I promised I wouldn't do any unboxing videos of GPUs when unboxing embargoes lifted, so I decided to do something a little bit different. Because we can talk about the size of these cards and not the performance, I'm going to compare the new 6800 XT to all of these cards that you're seeing in front of us so you guys can get a sense of the size of this card if you're looking at using it to build your own PC in the future. So think of this as a little bit of a reference guide, but without further ado, let's roll that intro. As I mentioned in the intro, this is basically just going to be a size referencing guide for this card compared to everything else. So in the future, if I need to look at it or if you guys need to look at it, you have this morsel of information. Obviously, because this is like an embargo for unboxing or whatever, we can't talk about any of the card's performance. But you can expect to see that at a later date. But without further ado, let's take a look at the size of this thing. All right, let's quickly take a look at the 6800 XT. It's not a large GPU, it's quite weighty. There are specifications for this GPU already online. So if you wanted to check those out as a bit of a reference to base your sizing on when we do this comparison, you can go ahead and do that. But just a quick reference, it's got 16 gigs of GDDR6. It's got a triple fan design, two eight pin PCIe power connectors. It's PCIe Gen 4. We actually did an unboxing over on main button. You can check that out in the top right hand corner right now, or there's a link in the description if you wanna check that out. But let's get right into it by checking out the first GPU, which you can probably see to our left or my left rather. It is the Radeon 7. And the reason why I decided to go with the Radeon 7 to compare it with is because it is actually quite similar in size and it's a GPU that I have available right now. So side by side, you can already see that these GPUs are very, very similar in size. If we flip the GPU on the side, you'll notice that the Radeon 7 is a little bit thinner. Now, AMD is calling this a two slot GPU. It's not really, it's like a two point five or 2.25, but yeah, uh, this is a true two slot GPU. So if we just flip the Radeon 7 over on its back, you can get an idea of the size in comparison on the back side as well. It's a very similar layout on the back sides of both of these cards. If we take a look at the outputs on the card, it'll actually give us a better idea of the thickness of these cards compared to one another. Lengthwise, they're also about the same size. Okay, let's get the Radeon 7 out of the way and let's take a look at one of the partner 5700 XTs. This is the ASRock Tai Chi 5700 XT OC Plus. Now, already you can see that this card is far bigger. However, in terms of thickness, they're actually quite similar in size. So let's just take a look at that so you can get a bit of an idea. Yeah, they're, they're very similar in thickness. We take a look at the backside as well. Also to give you an idea of the size, the 5700 XT from ASRock is significantly larger. If we take a look at the outputs, this will also give us a nice indication of the thickness of these cards. There you go, you can kind of see that they're very similar in thickness. The ASRock card is a bit wider, so yeah, there's that. I found this one to be interesting considering this is one of the bigger 5700 XTs and it's actually a nice size comparison between the two. But let's move on to one of the biggest GPUs that we have, the BF GPU, the 3090 Founders Edition from Nvidia. Now I just wanted to mention as well, we don't have a 3070 or 3080 Founders for comparison. We only have this big old guy right here. So. Yeah, I mean, you, if we flip it over on the back side, you can see that the BF GPU or the 3090 Founders is absolutely massive compared to the 6800 XT. If we take a look at the thickness of both cards, just so you can get an idea as well. Yeah, you can, you can see what's going on here. It is significantly larger. If we lay the card on top of each other, so if we put the 6800 XT on top of the 3090, you will be able to get an idea of the scale of both of these cards. So the 3090 is again significantly larger. And lastly, we'll take a look at the the outputs on the card just to get an idea of the size of both of these. And yeah, I mean, I think that basically says everything that you need to know that the 3090 is way bigger 
It's thicker, it's longer, it's wider. It is the BF GPU. Let's take it down a notch and go for something a little bit smaller. We've got the Asus Dual RTX 3070. Now, it may appear that the Dual is bigger because it is, but really, they're not that different in size. The thing that makes the Dual look bigger is those two fans. If we put the cards on top of each other, you can see that the Dual is only slightly slightly larger. If we take a look at the thickness of these cards, I think it's pretty apparent that they're, they're actually quite similar in size. Don't be fooled by the aspect of this overhead rig because it's not 100% accurate, but it will give you a, a bit of an idea of the reference of the size of these cards. If we take a look at the back side, this also gives us quite a good reference for size too. You can see that the Dual is larger, but honestly, it's not that much larger in general. Lastly, let's take a look at the outputs as a bit of a comparison. And yeah, you can see that the Dual is only slightly thicker, if not about the same. This one's actually quite a nice little comparison. Let's keep with the 3070s and check out the Gigabyte RTX 3070 Gaming OC. The 3070 Gaming OC is obviously a bit longer. You can, you can see that right off the bat. In terms of the actual thickness of the cards, they're pretty similar in size, if not about the same again. On the back side of the card, also giving us a nice bit of perspective. Uh, you can see that the 3070 is significantly larger. And just as well, I wanted to add that, I know some people are gonna be like, oh, I could just look up the measurements, but again, this is actually a nice way of getting a bit of an idea of the size of these cards. And with, let's lay the 6800 XT on top. And you can see again, I don't know if this perspective is helping very much, but yeah, the uh, Gigabyte card is actually longer. If we take a look at the output, you can see that the 6800 XT is about the same as the Gigabyte card, so no real surprises here. However, the Gigabyte card is a bit longer. Okay, let's look at some of the bigger of the cards now. The RTX 3090 ROG Strix. This thing is absolutely huge, and you can see that it dwarfs the 6800 XT by quite a lot. That is <laughs> quite a difference in size straight off the bat. I didn't real, I didn't quite realize how big this card was, to be honest. Let's quickly just lay them on top of each other so you, we can get a tiny bit of an aspect of this. But yes, it is <laughs> significantly larger. If we flip it this way as well to have a look at the thickness of each of these cards. Yeah, I mean, that is pretty <laughs> apparent that this card is a lot larger. The backside again gives us a nice little perspective. You can take a look at that like so. And yeah, it's, uh, it's very, very, different in size. I actually like doing this kind of content because it's kind of just like a nice little reference guide. And this this card is huge. I didn't realize it is huge. Obviously the distance is kind of uh, warping the perspective a bit, but if we move the card up, you can see that the difference is actually, uh, yeah, quite a bit. I thought this last comparison would be a little bit entertaining as the Aorus card, this is the Aorus Extreme RTX 3080, is one of the biggest GPUs ever made. So it's, <laughs> it's actually quite a good comparison to make. If we flip the cards over onto the side so you can see the thickness of the cards. Yeah, this is uh, basically telling you everything you need to know. This card is unnecessarily huge. That's all that this is saying right now. Taking a look at the back side of the card again, uh, it's gonna really, really echo that and drill that home. This card is just way too big. It doesn't need to be this big. It's ridiculous, right? If we lay the 6800 XT on top, you can then see the difference in size like that. And again, it is, uh, it, it, I mean, this angle is a bit of a tricky one because it does warp the perspective a bit because it's directly overhead. However, it is as close as we can do to being accurate with a camera because if it's a video, it's never really gonna be as accurate as you'd like. Now, if we lift the Radeon GPU up to the same height as the Aorus card again, you can see that the Aorus card with its in its four slot glory 
is absolutely overkill. It does not need to be that big. But yeah, I hope this video helped you with understanding the size of the 6800 XT. And if it's something that you're gonna be considering to buy for building in the future, when we're actually allowed to release all the performance and whatnot, this guide should help you in making the choice to see if this will fit in your systems. All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a hands-on and size comparison with all these GPUs. I'm sure there were a few surprises for you guys out there as well, because there was quite a few surprises for me. Also guys, if you wanna see the unboxing for this GPU, we did do a video over on our second channel, Mainbyte. So if you wanna have a look at that, uh, you can check that out. There's a link in the top right-hand corner right now, and also a link in the description as well. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the music you heard here, I make all the music that's available over on our Patreon. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And just as another bit of a message out there to everyone who's going to be asking about performance numbers and everything for this card right now, we can't share that. There is an embargo for all of that still. So yeah, all we can do is do an unboxing, basically. And I thought this was way more valuable than doing an unboxing video alone. And I thought this would be a really good reference for people who actually want to build with this card later down the line. Or in fact, they just want to know how big these cards are in general. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll, I uh, guess I'll see you later. Yep. That's how you make it awkward, dude. People are still watching at this point. Why? Mm -hmm.